Welcome to NSD222 Study Section 9 Altered Immune Response Introduction The main goal of immune response is to protect against the presence of foreign antigens. This response may excess a overreaction or the body may fail to maintain self tolerance and this results in tissue damage. This is termed a hypersensitivity reaction. A type of hypersensitivity response occurs when the body fails to recognize self proteins and react against its own protein. The diseases that occur as a result of immune responses against self antigens are termed autoimmune diseases. In this study session, the different types of altered immune response shall be discussed. Learning Outcomes At the end of this study session, you should be able to 1. Highlight the different types of hypersensitivity reactions. 2. Explain nursing assessments in allergic and hypersensitivity reactions. Hypersensitivity reactions. Over responsiveness of the immune system to an invading organism or foreign protein is termed hypersensitivity reaction. This is classified according to the source of the antigen. Time sequence, immediate or delayed, or basic immunologic mechanisms causing the injury. There are four types of hypersensitivity reactions. Types 1, 2, and 3 are immediate and are examples of humoral immunity. Why type 4? is delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Type 4 is related to a cell-mediated immunity. Summary of types of hypersensitivity reactions. See table. Let us examine in detail the types of hypersensitivity reactions. Type 1. IgE-mediated reaction anaphylactic reaction. This type of reaction occurs in susceptible persons who are highly sensitized to specific allergens. On first exposure to the antigen, the body produces IgE antibodies in response to the allergen. This immunoglobulin attaches to the mast cells and the basophils. Within these cells are granules containing potent chemical mediators, histamine, serotonin, slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis, SRSA, eucephine, chemotactic factor of anaphylaxis, ECFA, kinase, and bradykinin. On a subsequent exposure, the allergen links with the IgE bind to mast cells or basophils and triggers the granulation of the cells and the release of chemical mediators from the granules.
The reaction occurs in minutes or hours and is usually not dangerous. An example of a wheel and flare reaction is the mosquito bite. The wheel and flare reaction serves as a diagnostic purpose, as a means of demonstrating allergic reactions to specific allergies during skin tests. Common allergic reactions are anaphylactic shock, Atopy 1. Anaphylactic shock. This occurs when mediators are released systematically. For example, after injection of a drug or after an insect sting. This may be life threatening and occurs within minutes, causing bronchial constriction, airway obstruction, and vascular collapse. At first, the symptoms may include edema and itching at the site of the exposure to the allergy. Further manifestation which suggests systemic effects include rapid shock with rapid but weak pulse, hypotension, dilated pupils, dyspnea, and possibly cyanosis. This is compounded by bronchial edema and agioedema. Death may ensue if emergency treatment is not initiated. 2. Atopic shock. Atopy is an inherited tendency to become sensitive to environmental allergens. Common atopic diseases are allergic rhinitis, asthma, atopic dermatitis, urticaria, and angioedema. Type 2. Cytotoxic and cytolytic reaction. Type 2 hypersensitivity reaction involves direct binding of IgG and IgM antibodies to an antigen on the cell surface. Antigen antibody complexes activate the complement system, which mediates the reaction. Cellular tissue is destroyed either by activation of the complement cascade resulting in cytolysis or by enhanced phagocytosis. This results in destruction of target cells such as erythrocyte, platelets, and leukocytes. Some of the antigens involved in type 2 reactions are the ABO blood group, RH factor, and drug actins such as chlorophenicol. Pathophysiologic disorders characteristic of type 2. Reactions include ABO incompatibility, transfusion reaction, RH incompatibility, transfusion reaction autoimmune and drug-related hemolytic anemias, leukopenias, thrombocytopenia, erythroblastosis, fetalis, hemolytic disease of the newborn, and good pasture syndrome. The tissue damage usually occurs rapidly. 3. Side 3. Immune complex reactions. Type 3 reactions occur secondary to antigen antibody complexes. In this case, soluble antigens combine with immunoglobulins, Ig and IgM, to form complexes that are too small to be effectively removed by the mononuclear phagocyte system. These complexes are therefore deposited in tissue or small blood vessels, causing the fixation of complements and the release of chemotactic factors that leads to inflammation and destruction of the tissues involved. Type 3 reactions may be local or systemic and immediate or delayed. However, it should be noted that the clinical demonstration is determined by the number of complexes formed and the locations. Common sites for deposit are the kidneys, skin joints, blood vessels, and lungs.
Step 2. Common site for deposit are the kidneys, skin, joint, blood vessels, and lungs. Severe type 3 reactions are associated with autoimmune disorders such as systemic lupus erythematous, acute glomerulopathies, and rheumatoid arthritis. Type 4. Delayed hypersensitivity reaction. This is a delayed hypersensitivity reaction, also referred to as a cell mediated immune response. Normally, cell mediated responses are usually protective mechanisms, but tissue damage occurs in delayed hypersensitivity reactions. It is important to note that the tissue damage in a type 4 reaction does not occur in the presence of antibodies or complements but in the presence of sensitized T lymphocytes. These lymphocytes attack antigen or release cytokines, some of which attract microphages into the area. The microphages and enzymes released are therefore responsible for most of the tissue destruction. Delayed hypersensitivity response takes 24 to 48 hours for a reaction to occur and examples include contact dermatitis. Hypersensitivity reactions to bacteria, fungi, and viral infections, and transplant rejections. Nursing assessment in allergic or hypersensitivity reactions. As a nurse, you are required to carry out a comprehensive assessment including patient history, physical examination, diagnostic workup, and skin testing for allergens. 1. Health history. History of allergies in the family. Patient experience of past and present allergies to identify allergens which might have triggered the reaction and social and environmental factors should be noted. Family history, including information about atopic reactions in relatives, is especially important in identifying at-risk patients. The specific disorder, clinical manifestations, and treatments prescribed should be assessed. Determine the time of the year in order to note seasonal allergies. Information should also be obtained about any over-the-counter or prescription medications used to treat the allergies. Social and environmental factors, particularly presence of pets, trees, and plants on property, pollutants in the hair and floor coverings, house plants, and cooling and eating system in the home and workplace can provide valuable information about allergens. In addition, a daily or weekly food diary with a description of any auto-world reactions is important. Of particular interest is a screening for any reaction to medication. Finally, questions about the patient's lifestyle and stress level should be reviewed in connection with the appearance of allergic symptoms. 2. Past health history. The current respiratory problems, seasonal exacerbations, usually reactions to insect bites or stings, past and present allergies. 3. Medications. Usually reactions to any drugs or medications, use of over-the-counter medication, use of medications for allergens, functional health patterns, health perception, health management, family history of allergens, malaise, nutritional metabolic, food intolerance, vomiting, Elimination, 
abdominal cramp, diarrhea, activity exercise, fatigue, hoarseness, cough, dyspnea, cognitive, perceptual, inching, burning, stinging of eyes, nose, throat or skin, chest tightness, road, relationship, altered home and work environment, presence of pets. Categories of allergens. See table. Physical examination. A head to toe physical examination should be conducted on patients with allergies. Attention should be focused on the site of the allergic manifestation. Observe the following. Integumentary. Rashes, including urticarial, weight and flare, purples, vesicles, bully, dryness, scaliness, scratches, irritation, eyes, ears, nose and throat. Eyes, conjunctivities, lacrimation, rubbing or excessive blinking, dark circles under the eyes, allergic shiner. Yes, diminished hearing, immobile or scarce tympanic membranes, recurrent ear infections. Nose, nasa polyps, nasa voice, nose twitching, itchy nose, rhinitis, pale, boggy mucous membranes, sniffling, repeated sneezing, swollen nasal passages, recurrent, unexplained nose bleeds, crease across the bridge of the nose, allergic salute, throat, continual throat clearing, swollen leaves of tongue, palpable neck lymph nodes, respiratory, wheezing, stridor, sick sputum, possible diagnostic findings, eosinophilia of serum, sputum or nasa, and brochial secretions, elevated serum, IgE level, positive skin test, abnormal chest and sinus x-rays. Summary. In this study session, you have learned that 1. Over-responsiveness of the immune system to an invading organism or foreign protein is termed hypersensitivity reaction. 2. There are four types of hypersensitivity reactions. Types 1, 2 and 3 are immediate and are examples of humoral immunity. Why type 4 is delayed hypersensitivity reaction? Type 4 is related to a cell-mediated immunity. 3. As a nurse, you are required to carry out a comprehensive assessment, including patient history, physical examination, diagnostic workup, and skin testing for allergies. 4. A head-to-toe physical examination should be conducted on patients with allergies. Attention should be focused on the site of the allergic manifestation. End of study session 9. Thanks for listening.